October 7, 2017, 905 and last updated October 7, 2017, 349 p.m. Hurricane Nate intensified and moved rapidly toward the central Gulf Coast on Saturday as residents in Louisiana, Alabama, Mississippi, and Florida braced for it to make landfall under state of emergency orders. Hurricane Nate has already killed 25 people in Central America. The hurricane was moving north-northwest at 22 miles per hour as of 8 a.m. According to the U.S. National Hurricane Center, on the forecast track, the center of Nate will move across the central and northern Gulf of Mexico today, the NHC said, and will make landfall along the central U.S. Gulf Coast tonight. The maximum sustained wind speeds increased to 85 miles per hour. NHC NOAA Some additional strengthening is possible before Nate makes landfall along the northern Gulf Coast, the NHC said. U.S. oil and gas companies evacuated platforms all across the Gulf of Mexico, the Weather Channel reported. Storm surges of up to 9 feet were forecast for swaths of Louisiana, Alabama, Mississippi, and Florida. The mayor of New Orleans ordered mandatory evacuations for residents living outside the levee protection area in the Venetian Isles, Lake Catherine, and the Irish Bayou areas. Mayor Mitch Landrew also ordered a mandatory curfew starting at 6 p.m. on Saturday and expiring at 6 a.m. Sunday. NHC NOAA We are very well prepared, Landrew said. We are ready for whatever Nate brings our way. Landrew urged residents to stock up on supplies for three days and make an emergency plan. Louisiana Gov. John Bell Edwards expanded evacuation orders on Friday and issued a mandatory evacuation for Latif. We do anticipate a direct hit in Louisiana, Bell Edwards said. The bottom line for people is you need to be where you want to be and in the posture, you want to be by dark on Saturday. GOES 16 captured this geocolor image of Tropical Storm Nate on October 5, 2017. No, a total of 1,300 National Guard troops were mobilized, with 15 of those headed to New Orleans to monitor the pumping system. A flood in August exposed issues in the pumping system in the city, but as of Friday, 92% of the pumps were operational, according to Landrew. Since early August, we have made substantial progress, Landrew said on Thursday. The end of the London Avenue pump station is seen with the city skyline in the background as the city prepares for Tropical Storm Nate in New Orleans on October 6, 2017. Reuters' Jonathan Bachman evacuations were also ordered for St. Bernard, parts of Lafourche and St. John Parishes, and Grand Isle, the Associated Press and WWL-TV reported. A state of emergency was declared for 29 Florida counties and states, Alabama, Louisiana, and Mississippi, as well as the New Orleans, which was devastated by Hurricane Katrina in 2005. The NHC issued a hurricane watch from Grand Isle, Louisiana, to the Alabama-Florida border. By Saturday noon you should be in your safe place, Alabama Gov. K. Ivey told a news conference, This is a fast-moving storm and we must begin preparing now. Central America deaths The storm doused Central America with heavy rains on Thursday, killing at least 12 people in Nicaragua, 9 in Costa Rica, 2 in Honduras and 2 in El Salvador. A child affected by the tropical storm Nate sits on a chair in Nandame, Nicaragua, on October 6, 2017. Oswaldo Rivas Reuters Thousands were forced to evacuate their homes and Costa Rica's government declared a state of emergency. Costa Rican President Luis Guillermo Solis urged residents to remain vigilant, noting rains would likely resume. In Honduras, residents wondered whether they would have to flee. Norma Chavez and her two children anxiously watched a river rise outside their home in Tegucigalpa, the capital. We are worried that it will grow more and carry away the house, said Chavez, 45. People affected by the tropical storm Nate take a break on their hammock in a temporary shelter in Nandame, Nicaragua, on October 6, 2017. Reuters saw Oswaldo Rivas through Monday, Nate is expected to produce 2 to 4 inches more rain in eastern Yucatan and western Cuba and 3 inches to 6 inches in the U.S. central Gulf Coast. About 71% of the U.S.'s Gulf of Mexico oil production and 53% of the natural gas output is offline ahead of Nate's arrival, the U.S. Department of the Interior's Bureau of Safety and Environmental Enforcement BSEE said on Friday. Oil companies have evacuated staff from 66 platforms and five drilling rigs, it said. Oil production equaling 1.24 million barrels of crude per day is offline, according to BSEE. Reuters contributed to this report. From NTD.TV Share Tweet Share Email